All right, what's up? Board Wrestling Live here. Uh, we're back again. We got another uh, amazing wrestler in our country uh, now uh, giving back. He's now a wrestling coach, and he's uh, a Florida guy down in the Florida Keys, a little town called Isla Mirada. I'm sure all the Florida boys know what it is. But uh, he was a two-time Florida State champ at Coral Shores High School down there. He went 124-7. and seven. He was a 2016 Monroe County Athlete of the Year. He was a three-time USA Greco All-American three-time Disney All-American, 2015 Fargo champ in Greco. And uh, not only that, he was a pretty damn good defensive tackle named All Monroe team uh, on the line. So I'm sure uh, his wrestling helped that, but uh, he went off and uh, took his talent to Missouri. And now, now he's back and he's starting a club called Island Style Wrestling. So, hey, uh, what's up coach, man? How are you doing? Hey, thanks for having me, Dan. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, man, I, I appreciate it. It's an honor to meet you. Uh, obviously, through through my father, I've heard a lot about you just uh, because he, you know, he's local and, and he's very into the community down there and especially into the athletes. And he's always posting accolades that you guys do. And uh, um, so uh, that, that's pretty cool. And when I told him I was having you on, he said, oh, man, great family. Uh, and uh, and then he mentioned your brothers, your dad. Uh, but then he, he mentioned that uh, you guys have like a, uh, an AD or something at your high school. That's pretty interesting as well. He was like, I need, you need to get him on too. So, uh, uh it was pretty cool, but, uh, man, first of all, uh, you know, welcome, man. It, it's an honor. I'm glad mm -hmm. to see you back and, and you're in a place given back. I know that the conks are down there in Key West, but there was nothing up there in the middle to kind of, uh, to bring rest in there. So it, it, it's good, man. Gonna have something, but First of all, talk about these times, man. What, what have you been trying to do to, to keep yourself uh, ready? Well, I've definitely just been trying to, like, get my brand out there. Um, I'm trying to get to camps. I'm trying to do clinics. Um, I'm a, always available because there really isn't much we can do right now with the, um, the whole COVID thing that's going on. So, you know, I'm trying to get out and, and, and get my brand to people and the ultimate goal is to promote amateur and youth wrestling in Florida. Um, I think that's, that's really my ultimate goal in all of this. And uh, the only way to do that is to get out and to reach people and to, to do things like this on the internet. Uh, yeah, I agree. And, and you know, uh, where you are down there in Isla Mirada, man, there's a, uh, there's a lot of opportunity for you and, and there's great things. I mean, I, like I said, I hear, uh, I hear about, uh, Man, you, they got the bacon fest and the fish fest and the strawberry fest and this fest and that fest. So you definitely got a lot of opportunity to, uh, to be out and about and, and doing your thing and maybe doing some sponsorships or, or just eating bacon. That's not a bad thing either, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, very cool stuff, man. Well, well, good for you. Yeah, I think the goal um, from what I've been learning through all this is uh, to grow Florida wrestling. It needs to become generational and guys like yourself who have but I've had success need to come back and give back. So, um, so man, good for you. But, but first of all, I mean, talk about, uh, you know, you come from a wrestling and a football family. Uh, you've done big things out of Coral Shores, not just you, but, but your brothers too. Um, the coaching staff, the culture in Coral Shores, that whole wrestling community down there in the Keys, what has that meant to you and your family and your success? Well, me and my family, wrestling's been a part of it since we were very young. Uh, me and my brothers would travel the country together wrestling. Um, my family, when we were much younger, had an RV and we'd go around in the RV wrestling. That was our vacation trips. So at a very young age, wrestling was something that was really important to me and my family. Um, we really didn't do anything other than wrestle. You know, we went on vacation. We went to wrestle. When we went to summer camp, it, you know, we weren't canoeing and stuff, went to wrestling camp. So um, I think me and my brothers had a way of building a culture together. And um, just over the years, I think that's something that I ended up bringing to the Keys that wasn't really there before. I don't think there was really much of a dynamic and culture in the wrestling community down here. And um, I, I, I think that's something that now that I'm graduated from college is something that I want to bring back and, and, eventually down the road build a team with. Yeah, and, and um, you know, obviously we know you got the conks down there about, what is that, about two hours south of you? And, uh, yeah. Um, and they're always doing big things with those tournaments and things. So uh, 
uh, obviously there's a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity and man you can grow a club up there and a youth club out there imagine how big that tournament can become down there at the uh, mm -hmm. southernmost tip right you can really bring a lot of kids and uh, I think a lot of kids want to come to the keys maybe you can talk into doing the tournament up a little closer to the top maybe yeah. the middle of the keys uh, maybe that'll attract more teams um, mm -hmm. just because obviously the trip is long right <laughs> yeah uh but man it, it, a... yeah definitely it's a um it's definitely a travel down i mean even when when i come down uh, to see my dad just to, if my wife and kids are like hey let's drive down to the bottom i'm like oh boy it's a long <laughs> drive but i like going over the bridge that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah. oh um, definitely yeah man so so talk about i mean obviously those guys have meant a lot to you and now now you're getting ready to put a club together and, uh, and, and be able to kind of create a feeder pro program to grow Keys Wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us about your new club, Island Style. Tell us where it's located. Tell us what your goals are. Tell us uh, what you want to do to get your name and your brand out there. Yeah, so basically what Isle Style Wrestling is, is it's really a lifestyle. It's different down here in the Keys. It's, it's a different lifestyle from the real world up there on the mainland. So I think you have to have a way to establish a culture that is intense enough to build a wrestling community. And I think that's something that has been missing here before. When I think back to like guys that were on my team, what they didn't have that I had was a wrestling community. And that's kind of what escaped me as a wrestler. Um, I think that's really important for any athlete to have a community that you can that you rely on. Um, I want to build that down here. I want to have a community of kids and a community of wrestlers that rely on each other. They hold each other accountable because at the end of the day, that's what it really takes. It takes a community of people to build something special. Yeah, and, and I saw your, uh, you're, you're putting a little room together there. I know you've been posting um... – uh, feel free when, when we get off uh, down the road here to, to jump in there, post links to your room, uh, post mm -hmm. things that are happening. But, yeah, I mean, you've already had some studs in the room. I saw you with Florida State champ uh, Bryce Marcus in the room. I saw you with ACC champ Zach Sherman, mm -hmm. uh, two Florida legends there. And, uh, and, you're, and then, of course, I mean, you took them out fishing too. So, meanwhile, you can go, you can go wrestle – and go fishing. It's the only place yeah. really in the country where you can go to a fancy steak dinner in your flip flops. Right. <laughs> it's, it's completely unique to anywhere else. That, and I think that's one of the things I love about it so much. And now what, what are your goals for the room? I know, I know your teachings, but as far as are, are we, are we starting? Uh, are we, does it matter what age you are? Does it matter what level you are? Are you looking to, to grow everything from that five-year-old all the way to college athletes coming down and training in the room during the off season. Yeah, exactly. Um, K to 12, you know, um, really whenever they want to start wrestling, I'll take anybody that wants to learn how to wrestle. That's really, you know, from elementary school to high school um, because past that point, you know, it's not really, you know, if you're going to college to wrestle, you know how to wrestle. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I kind of want to, just give more kids the opportunity to go to college and wrestle if that's what they want to do, because that's not really down here. Yeah. And, and get the key. Yeah. I mean, I'm at, you know, how cool is it? Well, you went to college. Like I, I grew up, I'm 44 now, but I'm, I'm sure you experienced some of what I experienced when I, I didn't go off to college, but I, I would go away to like these camps or these boarding schools or whatever. And you'd say you're from Miami and people are like, wow, Miami, this is before like, South Beach. It was they, they only knew Miami because of the Canes of the eighties, right? But I and right. I mean, you go up to like Missouri and they're like, dude, the Florida Keys, I've always wanted to go there, man. That's awesome. So yeah, to yeah. something that can be a, a destination. And also, hey, if you want to wrestle, we got a spot for you. Now, are are you just right now gonna offer groups or are you gonna do privates? Uh are you gonna offer all levels? Are your your two brothers that were wrestlers, are they gonna be involved in the club as well? Oh yeah, my brothers, um, they'll be involved as much as they can. You know, they're uh they they do, you know, their own thing kinda. 
for the most part, but we're, you know, we stick together when it comes to this and um, it's important to us. It's something we, we want to see grow together. Um, when I think about like how we can reach people, I just like look at the resources we have, like things like the Florida wrestling room. I think, you know, all these pages, your page, um, there's so many resources we have to reach people. So I just, I don't see, you know, why we can't grow this thing and make it happen. Well, I know what I know what needs to happen right now, according to Coach Scotty Sentes up in Campbell. He just mm -hmm. he just said that uh, I want to see him do a split right now. Right now, that's, that, that's what he said. It's not Scotty Sentes, Coach Sentes, tell him to do a split right now. <laughs> I don't think that's fit in the screen. <laughs> you know, Scotty doesn't fit in the screen. <laughs> um and coach cerulo my favorite high school wrestler of all time uh <laughs> coach civilian awesome good to see the champ on your show also love the club name brand uh andrew sharer let's go dante so uh some shout outs to you big man that's uh showing the love to that's you awesome. and, um man i, I love I, yeah i was talking to my dad the other day and i said man i'm i'm kind of excited if uh, we can get to the other side of this COVID and get out of our houses, I'd love to bring the kids down. And now if they want to wrestle, they got a spot right there down the road. Cause he, let's see, he's in Tavernier. So that's just above you, right? Yeah. That's not far at all. Yeah. So, uh, plus I, I really like the fish house. I'm going to go back. <laughs> oh, good stuff. <laughs> good stuff down there. Hey, so, um, uh, talk about going off to Missouri, going off to college, um, getting the opportunity to wrestle in at the next level. And, uh, how prepared do you think you were, and uh, what do you what do you what do you want to teach these other young kids to prepare them for for what the expectation is at the next level? So, I'm yeah, I'm glad we're talking about this wrestling going off to the next level wrestling. It's 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 a wake up call. It's like you really kind of figure out how much you don't know. Um, you know, your first my first year, I got the crap beat out of me, but eventually you know I started getting better and getting better and getting better and you know you're one of the guys in the room that's one of the stuff eventually and it's um it, it, it's a very rewarding experience the the relationships I've gained the wrestling I've learned the life skills I've learned just from going to Mizzou and being a member of Tiger Style and living Tiger Style it's uh, it, it, it's something that prepares you for life. It's not just about going to college and wrestling. I learned so much about who I need to be as a person to be where I am now, to be able to teach, you know, the younger generation what they need to know to move on to the next level. And that's what I'm most excited about is that I have an opportunity to teach these kids at a, age, at a young age what I didn't know. And that's what promotes and makes wrestling better when you're able to take what you've learned and give to the next generation, like my dad and my older brothers did for me, they did the same exact thing that I'm doing right now. And um, that's what I can't wait. I, I can't wait to just watch these kids grow and, and go to the next level. And awesome. And what a place to have it. I mean, uh, uh, man, look, you, you could have these, uh, these little weekend camps where, they come down and wrestle a little bit, and then in the afternoons you, you can go out on the boat and 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 throw some throw some lines down, teach these kids how to do some fishing. Uh, Absolutely, you got those great docks down by you with the uh, what's that place where uh, where you can feed the tarpon? Oh, Robbie's. Yeah, you can feed the tarpon. So, man, you can really uh, uh, these kids can really get a life experience coming down and, and hanging out. You know. Uh, my dad will say, just measure the fish. Make sure you don't do anything. <laughs> I know many seasons coming up, he was already posting like, hey, don't, uh, you know, and, and I, I agree. I mean, you're a, you're a lifelong keys guy. So, I mean, you want your kids and your grandkids and your great grandkids to be able to experience the same thing. So, uh, yes. hatching the keys is not good, right? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but uh, man, Anthony Cirillo, the haymaker. <laughs> That's what he said. You go. Yeah, man. I'm I excited to to have a 
another club in Florida, but especially down there, that's awesome. Um, and I was so happy I saw your post and hit you up. I was like, hey, wait a second, this would be good. And I got an, I had an opening for Friday and I was like, let's jump on and do this. And, and I hope we can do it more often, jump on, talk about the keys. Maybe, uh, maybe you're out on the boat with the wrestlers and we can get on your phone and, and, uh, and go live. Maybe, maybe a little Instagram action or something. It, it would be oh, absolutely. great. It'd be fun. Well, uh, I, I know the room is already, uh, is already built because I saw you practicing in there. Um, yeah. Right now, do you have any other plans for any, any other coaches coming in with you or volunteer coaches other than family or, or right now, are, are you sticking with the three brothers? And then from there, you'll, you'll see where it goes. Yeah. Well, right now it's me and my brothers and um, you know, down here, I have the opportunity to invite people to come down here all the time. So, um, you know, I've got a lot of friends throughout the wrestling community. Um, Zach Sherman, who's actually um, lives down here now. And, you know, so we work out together there all the time. And, you know, I can't complain having a guy like Zach around for my guys. It's, um, it, it's incredible. He knows so much and he can give so much. He's one of the most, ta- bar none, one of the most talented wrestlers I know. Um, so just having guys like him around, you know, that's, that's what, that's what I need. And that's what's going to build. Yeah. Awesome. And, and, you know, hopefully, uh, and as you grow, the room grows and gets bigger and, uh, outgrow that space and expand on bigger spaces and, uh, and, and do some cool things. So, man, I, I really appreciate you. I've got, uh, uh, I've got 10 questions for you. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Chef Michaels or the fish house? Oh, the fish house. I mean, Chef Michaels is great, but I like that deep fried seafood. <laughs> All right. The Dolphin Research Center or the Key West Aquarium? Oh, Dolphin Research Center. Those things are cool. <laughs> All right. Marker 88 or Ziggy and Mad Dogs? Oh, Ziggy's, hands down. <laughs> uh, the Rain Barrel Village or Mallory Square? Rain Barrel Village. For me, it's home. Uh, yeah, with the big uh, with the big lobster, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Uh, Bayside or Stone Oven Pizza? Bayside. <laughs> I love Bayside. Uh, John Pennycamp or Theater of the Sea? John Pennycamp. Uh, when I graduated sixth grade, they took us down there and we walked with like all the stingrays and swam in a shark pit. Um, yeah. That was 19 something. Uh, <laughs> uh, mangrove mics or over easy for breakfast? Mangrove mics all the way. <laughs> Lobster Rubens or stone crabs? That's a tough one. Stone crab. <laughs> the, those, uh, those lobster Rubens are good, too. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Florida Keys Brewing or Isla Morada Brewing? Oh, you know what? I, I don't think I can make a decision on that one. I'm at both so frequently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shane, Shane McCall, this dude is such an athlete. He definitely doesn't move like a big guy. <laughs> uh all right two of my favorite when i come down there and i'm always torn mangrove snapper or florida grouper oh uh, grouper you like the grouper yeah I, you know i'm always torn because they're both so darn good uh yeah last time we came down um i'm a big wimp i get i get seasick and stuff so i stayed on the mm-hmm. dock but my dad and my wife and the kids uh they had uh, my dad had a buddy that's got a boat and they they went out to the, uh, what do they call it? Like the backlands there, whatever they call it. Country. That country. And uh, and they came back with a bunch of mangrove snapper and they got to cook it with grandpa mm-hmm. and, light and everything. And they had a they had a good time. Mangrove snapper is delicious. It's one of my favorite fish. Yeah. And, and how cool is it down there where you can just, um, you can go fishing and then you can walk into any restaurant and they'll be like, yeah, we'll cook it up for you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Incredible. It's awesome. It's such a huge place. Um, yeah, I wish I could get down there more often. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I do. But uh, hopefully we get to the other end. I know my wife has been saying when this quiets down, uh, we'll come down. She likes the, uh, there's a hotel up there in, in Key Largo, La Playa Largo. She likes that place. Yeah. It's got that cool beach in the back and then the kids fish off the dock right there. And um, uh, Daniel will jump in and do like flying elbows on fish trying to swim under there. I'm like, You're yeah. it, dude, he's like, yeah, it's, I'm bigger than him. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, anytime you visit, feel free to, you know, come look me up and we'll get in the room and stuff and we'll go fishing. Yeah, for sure. The kids would love that. And uh, man, Island style wrestling. Isla Mirada mm -hmm. Keys, um, man, you want to go down and have a great vacation and do some wrestling, and you're in an area like that, so much to do in Isla Mirada and Tavernier and Marathon and that whole area there, the Upper Keys, uh, the Middle Keys, man, so much fun. I know everybody talks about Key West and, you know, love the conks, but the Middle Keys is, is where the party happens, so go up there and... Uh, and have a good time. And I look forward to getting down there and getting to meet you in person. And uh, uh, please tell you and your family to, to vote for my dad this time around too. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. please do that. And uh, hopefully he gets his seat again. And uh, thanks for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. And, and you've got a, a great following and um, I'm glad I got a chance to meet you. It's an honor, by the hey. way. And I, I appreciate the opportunity to be on. Yeah, anytime you want to come on, uh, I'll message you my cell number and uh, we can keep in touch and uh, whatever. If you're doing any events, like I said, any anything, uh, let me know. And then when we get off, uh, feel free in the video, in the interview to post how to get in touch with you. I know that right now you're trying to travel the state and do some privates and, and do some clinics just to get your name out there. As far as mm -hmm. island style, people know who you are, but... Uh, we need to get that club known so that uh, we can go down there. And I, I mean, yeah. you've got a pretty good club just north of you, right? So yeah, uh, count on it and count on us. Joseph Giovanetta. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's my dad. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. So he must be, he must be doing good things. So, hey, thanks guys. Thanks to the Giovanetta family. Man, keep kicking life's ass. And, uh, and now... We want to see Isla Murata kicking ass on the mat. So thank you, brother. Hey, thank you.